Hey guys, Delusions here. I'm going to be showing my new premium auto typer, which replaces the old one which I discontinued a while ago. So, to use this one, you're going to have to be part of my Patreon. The link will be on screen. But what you want to do is download the zip file, which will be linked on the Patreon page. Once you have it downloaded, just take it to its own directory, wherever. And then you can open it up. Doesn't matter if you have a WinRAR, you should be able to open it up through Windows anyway. And what you want to do is basically just extract it. So you can either just open it up and then like drag the contents into a folder or you can right click it, click extract here. Either one works, I'm just going to do this. And it's going to put all those files onto the directory. Now you can get rid of the zip file and you're left with this. So once you open this, you have these files here. So basically, quick rundown config simply i'm going to save some of the stuff you input into here just so it can reload it once you close and open the program this is chromium um, it comes packaged in which is why it's around a 450 meg download uh, and then you've got the autotype exe file here it might just be called autotype it may not have the exe but it's going to be an application type file only going to work on windows the rest of these files you can safely ignore, but obviously leave them all in there for the exe to work. Now once the exe starts, you're going to get a Windows security alert. This is just so that it can access the internet. So I'm going to click allow access. You may get a prompt saying, I'll show what it looks like on the screen, but it will be saying uh, Windows is protected digital computer. Basically you just have to click, click more or show more and then click run anyway. Basically. I don't want to pay to be an authorized developer, so it's going to come up until it's like a fully trusted program. So to begin with, you're going to come to the screen. Quick things, uh, if you ever need to quickly access the YouTube channel, uh, I haven't put the video on there yet, but obviously I'm recording it now. Um, you got the Patreon page here as well. You got the Discord, this will link it to your actual Discord and that's it for those and you'll just have login and close so you want to log in and it's going to ask you to log in using your patreon login so the patreon that you joined with the account that you joined my patreon with you want to log in with that and then you're just going to click allow clicking deny won't actually do anything at the moment purely because the program doesn't work unless you've allowed it which doesn't give any information apart from like your username for example once you've done that you'll be logged in and then you'll have access to the rest of the program so to get started you have the main part of the program here this is where you're going to put all the instructions to the autotyper to get it to type switch channels you know wait and loop um, you have your settings here so if you want it to log in without having to do it yourself manually every time you're going to put login information here but it's completely optional you don't have to do that you got your help, this is a very short, I'm probably going to improve this soon, very short help. Obviously I'm going to be going over all of this today. And the additional help, this is going to link to this YouTube tutorial. And then any further help, click on the Discord and just ask for some help in there. So to begin with, we're going to want to, I can fold this down. You have open browser, start, stop, get channels. Now none of this is actually going to work. You have to begin with start browser. What it's going to do is take you to Discord. You see it wants to log you in. I haven't put any of this information in, so at the moment I'm going to do this manually. With just my Discord login. Now that I'm in here, the program's going to say it's loaded. All good. I'm registered. This is the console, so any like feedback from the program's going to be put in here. It's going to tell you what's doing as it's doing it and then so I've got a few test servers here including this pre-made one so to begin with say you just want to type um, this is an automated message simply writing any message in here is going to type this out so if I click start now it's going to grab the text box of the channel we're currently in and just type this message out and then, so if I want to send a separate message, I just simply press return, press enter, 
and then on another line I'm going to type this is another automated message. So let's go let's first type this, so I'll delete this just so it's a bit clearer. Like that. Let's go type this and then let's go type this. So I'll click start. Send the first message here and then send the mess second message here. Alright, to say that's a bit too quick. So you want to do hello, my name is Delusions, and then you want to type how are you? So if we did this, it'd come out the same as here. But if you want to wait between the messages, you can simply put square brackets. So we'll start with just the open square bracket, type the word wait, and then any number. And this number is going to be seconds. So say I want to wait, I want to wait five seconds between writing this message and writing this message. I'll simply put wait five surrounded in these square brackets. So if I click start now, let's go type. So you can see five, four, three, two, one. Let's go wait that five seconds. Type how are you, and that's that done. Say you don't really know how long you want to wait, or you want to wait between a certain couple of numbers. So, because it's a bit unrealistic, you know, writing at a set interval every time. You want to randomize it a little bit. So say wait between about two to ten seconds. What it's going to do is going to choose a random number every time you run this, and it's going to be between 2 and 10. So if I start this now, let's go type it again. It's chosen 2 seconds that time. Now say you want to type a message in one channel, so maybe I'm going to type in the AAA channel, and then I want to type in the BBB or the BB channel. So I'm going to go type hi. I want this message in AA. A. Right? And I'm going to type hi again. This message should be in BB. So if I start if I click start, it's just going to type them in the same place, which is obviously we don't want. So to tell the auto typer to switch channel, you have to put square brackets and inside you're going to put the server name so say you know, server name space colon space and then the channel so in this case it'd be AAA and then you could do the same here BB but obviously it's quite annoying to get the server name yourself so the easiest way to do this is simply click on the server you want so it can be any of these here click on the server you want click get channels in server here. And that's going to create a list of buttons at the bottom for all the channels that you find in the server. So I wanted to type in AAA so I'm going to click this and it's going to add this message here which is the server name and then the channel that we've clicked on. So what we can do is we can just put that where we want it. So I want that there and then I want to type this in BB so I'm going to click BB and I'm going to put that there. So it's going to go to this server this channel, type this message, then it's going to go to this server, this channel, and then type this message. So if I click start, if I click on somewhere else, so just type my direct messages, it's going to see switch to AA and then BB. So if we go check, this message is in AA, this is in BB. So that worked absolutely fine. Now say I wanted to do this over and over again. I can simply put loop at the end. Make sure you put this at the end and this will loop it forever. So I'll show you, but I'll add a couple of waits just to wait one second after we type each message. And then I'm going to click start. So it's going to type it, wait a second, type it, wait a second, and it's going to loop. It's going to keep doing this forever. You can click stop at any time to stop the program yourself. You can also put a number after the amount of loops, say two, and then click start. So it's going to do it. So that's one, and that's two. So that's the first one, and then it loops twice. So as you can see on the placeholders, we've gone through wait, and then the number. We've gone through wait between two numbers, and then we've gone through switching servers and channels, uh, and then we've gone through looping infinitely and looping a certain amount of time. Now, the autotyper, Will completely run in the background so what you can do is 
chuck a couple of things in here. I'm just going to type into these channels A, B, C, and D. So you can see this one. It's all the meshes in here. And then E, E, nothing in there. So I can start this. And you can have this browser open or you can close it down. And then in which case you can start browsing YouTube, play some games. It's going to run completely in the background. If at any time you want to see it, it's going to be here in the background and you can see it doing its thing. You can keep, so there is the option in the help to, in the settings, to hide the browser. Uh, but with that, you have to make sure that I highly recommend you have your instructions all set up, ready to go. Because obviously you won't be able to see what the browser is doing, so it's a lot harder to get all the info and it's harder to navigate yourself. And you'd also have to put in your automatic login. So obviously, if you can't see the browser, you can't log in manually. And then, so I'm going to stop this now. And I'm going to open this back up. And you can see it's, it's been saying B. Uh, it's been saying A, you know, exactly as we left it to do, but all in the background without us having to ever look at it again. And yeah, that's it. So this will only work on Windows. Uh, it uses browser automation like the last one but it's much more reliable so any further help make sure to ask on discord and this will be updated at pretty regular intervals just to add more features i'm thinking about adding more patreon tiers for more scripts such as like iterating through users messages uh, may also add the ability to delete your previous message but for now as the version one of the autotyper this is what we've got so far so keep an eye on the Patreon for any further posts. If you have any requests, we can discuss it in Discord a bit further. But for the most part, it's going to be you know, like the highly requested features that everyone will use. Thanks for watching. And thanks for the support.